Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, back with some more of our Wrexham Road to the League. And, uh, well, it's a little bright. Just bear with me. We have three games here. I played through November, uh, so we'll show those games. And then we're going to be starting today with December, Crystal Palace, and Burnley. So without further ado, let's get right into this one. So a Leicester win, 4-0 for us. Bruno Fernandez had two goals. Uh, Juan Jorge Martinez and I thought this was a pretty good one I mean we came in and we played great Fernandez and a 10.0 Martinez and a uh, 9.3 all of these green green performances biggest thing with it though went back or our 5-2-3 sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so that was a good one there then we went to Arsenal and well we were just outmatched. Odegaard had one goal in the 40th, and then they scored in the 46th coming out of the half with Tierney. And from there, we just could not get it going. We had a couple of good shots, but just couldn't get anything in. And it kind of shows in the XG from there. So, yeah, it wasn't the greatest game. But we bounced back with Brighton, a 4-1 win. That was Montanez with a hat trick and Jebison with the other fourth had some good good facilitation from Vale from the outside. Kiergaard got involved there. A lot of uh, a couple of green ones there. Montanez had that 9.1. But in this, I didn't really fear that we were out of it at any time. And then we started packing on the goals. And from there, I knew that we were going to hold. Henderson gets a clean sheet in this one. Actually, no, he did not get a clean sheet because we left off a goal was the first goal. This is correct. So we gave up a goal in the 29th minute, but we had that penalty uh, kick for goal in the third. Today, we're going to see Crystal Palace and Burnley. Where do they set in the league? Where do we sit at the league at this point? So we are sitting at 12th. So 17 points. It's a little condensed in what is the league right now until you get probably up in the fourth in the Champions League spots with United. Then from there, they're in their little four-man race there. And that is where Crystal Palace is in third. For our second game today, it is Burnley, who is down in the relegation zone. This is a team we have to win to stay up. I'm feeling good. We are five points ahead of what I would expect. And that's a big one. We beat Brighton, Leicester, Portsmouth, Bournemouth, and West Ham. Those were good ones. With all of them, but the Brighton game being a clean sheet. Which is great. So, let's do this. I'm ready. Um, we don't have a full side. I think we're still waiting on... Actually, it's not an injury. It is a suspension... For Scarlet, he got a red card two games ago. So he's suspended for for that next game and then a further two or three game ban. And so that's not helpful for us. Kind of does suck, but it's all good. We have a chance. If we can stun Crystal Palace, then, well, we'll make some good strides. We're playing a 4-2-3-1. We're still going to play this cautious bit here. Um, we're going to play with Lestina in the back. So as you see, Scarlet is suspended for the next match. Other than that, I feel like we are good. Uh, Tony's coming off his injury maximum of 60 minutes. So we'll get him kind of in the mix. And McKinney is, he doesn't need uh, an actual fitness test, but... This is the side we've been playing, and I feel comfortable with the side all the same. So, let's get into this. I'm ready. Crystal Palace. Big game. We want to keep creeping up the table. And that's what we want to do. The goal is to get maybe a conference league spot. In... This year, the third year at the Prem. But I also have my sights on a couple of players. 
so i've been looking at our actual budget and i think with the tv money coming in i think we'll just be ahead of our budget at this point we're kind of even right now i think december will put us just above into making money and we'll probably be around oh well, seven to ten million in that by the end of the year just in budget so i think we'll be fine we're in our whites today we don't really get to see our whites but today we get to see them the crystal palace is gonna start with intercepting that ball that bode well for us and nothing okay here it is Rhea putting it up here going wide trying to put some pressure it's played over the top and there's Eddard Eddard's actually closed in on defense we did something good on defense Mitchell looking crossing and well how are you supposed to score there what is Eddard doing I don't know it's definitely not playing offense but the first one was great Suslov Bale actually gets that one McKinney looking going over the top Jebison has the speed there he's gonna take a shot and that is a nice finger tip save by Rhea Jebison's gonna take this one I'm not the smartest move I probably need to look at that uh Vale has come off he wants to actually come out the field because of an injury he feels he can shake it off we'll play him if he feels like he can shake it off that's a good ball and that sneaks in back post Grillish, that is tight he's on side that was a good ball. I wasn't sure. It looked like he was level. He's definitely level there. But uh, who was that? Odogu. Odogu, come on. I'm going to demand more from the team. That doesn't bow well for us. Drami puts it up, goes off the wall. Anderson. It's a good switch. There is a good shot. We need to get something going here, boys. Is that one's in? Odogu does head it out. So Slav moving it, and that's easily corralled by Henderson. They already have a 1.44 in XG, 1.5, and we are not doing anything. I'm gonna break the team. This is just Does the team really think we're doing a good job right now with a damn 0.22 Fernanda is gonna get us. Oh, we had a chance to tie it What a save by Reyna. He's made two great saves. That could have been goals There we go, Alberto Okay, thank you. There you go Right up. Christina, let's be smart here. That's a good ball. Oh, it's wide left. Fontanez, come on, my guy. You need to put that on target. It was such a good ball. Such a good ball. Show me something else in the second half. What you're doing is not showing that we can play right now. Crystal Palace is going to start off with the ball here. Mitchell. Kind of goes a little bit on a post. Kowski does win that. McKinney, that's a smart play to Veil. Lucina does clear it, but that can be a good counterattack. The man more again. Buffet. Green out. Header. Gets a side netting. 
this assignment their defense is playing fantastic and where our offense is not playing great 6.3 for Montanez there's Jebison oh, that was the one Jebison my guy I need you to put that in the net I need you to put it in Fernandez taking it there and that is headed out come on come on, give me the ball I have to take out Montanez I think but right the team Mitchell's gonna crotch it Bukowski's there we are not gonna win it Hederson again is going to do something okay so I'm gonna make some changes or Donnie's gonna come out we're gonna get Overton in up top while Montanez came off an amazing game Tony's gonna come up top um I'm gonna do a little razzle dazzle with this I'm gonna get Fernandez here as a complete forward I'm gonna take him out actually I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna get cure guard up back here with uh, McKinney look at Castledean Uh, Horning, this is going to be for fail. It's just taking him out. And do this all again. Some of them went through. Oh my god, it's a red card. That's why. You're killing me. You're killing me, guys. was taking you out to I know what to do and what I like this I like this I'm also gonna come out very attacking We just need one goal to preserve this. Uh, Castle Dean's gonna come in. There's a roaming playmaker. I'll berate the team because this this is not looking good. We seem to get lucky and we just haven't been able to finish Jebison missed one that was big We've missed one other one by Montanez that was big that was wide left and then I think the other one was by Maybe Fail I think they're going to get away with this. Why? 
Come on. Come on, boys. Let's do something. Look alive. All right, that wasn't look alive. That just looked like you just gave up. Come on. Our final chance. Give it a kick, Henderson. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to go over the top with that. What are you doing? My tactic is to take this over the top. Oh, no, it's not. Fail. It's a failure on my part. We could have stole one point from this, but uh, yeah. That's a disappointment. Especially when a win there could pull us up to like 20th. 20 points and up into the possibly European places, but what? Bro. You have been absolutely terrible since I've bought you. Absolutely terrible. And the man's like, well, I think I've been playing up the standard. Bro, a seven, a 6.7 is not up the standard. It's not even average. Not even average. What is this? Okay, so maybe we can get some with Burnley. I don't know. Let's see. I hope. So here we go. Burnley, I'm at the table. We need to get something. Fortunately, 121's played the same day we did. So we need to pull up one guy. Go that one. Under 18s, he will likely not see the field anyway, so we're total fitness, so uh yeah. Let's push it. Let's see what we get into. For this, I'm gonna change this. I want our keeper to just kick it long. Okay. We have two suspensions now. I think we can take good advantage of Burnley. Keyword is I think. Our blues today. That's smart. And yeah, McKenna takes down Jebison from behind. Good long kick there. Krakowski wins it. Very good. Good ball. And Daniel Jebison finishes it. I mean, that's a good ball over the top. Montanez somehow sneaks it between the two. And Jebison does work. Veiled... 
That was dirty. That was dirty. So Vale goes down. Henderson makes a good stop. Is, it a, is that going to be one that Vale can't get up from? Hmm. Overton's already there. You know what? Here's the Overton here. The Kenny will play here. This is it inverted? We'll get Horning in. Actually, no. We'll flip this. And we'll have Horning here. Okay. I don't want to actually risk a veil. We're the only ones playing today. Actually, a lot of teams lost above us. Okay. This will put us in at 20 points, which is only two behind Norwich. We'll praise Fernandez. Uh, Travers is there. Stop. I mean, even here, we take that. That's good. And that misses. Good try, though, by Simu. Pretty good XG. I'm feeling like we're playing pretty solid in what we're looking like in our shape. Uh, this is kind of a back and forth game. With the momentum. Okay. We're going to keep on marking Deontay. Okay. Um, I'm happy, but you're capable of better. Price. Cross in. Smart play. Smart play by the defense. Let's head it back to the keeper. The next one's probably going to be Fernandez. The three strikers. And I don't know who the fourth is. The fourth one is going to be on defense. I can already see it. Okay. Um, Kyrgyz is going to come up front. This is the pressing forward. We're going to have Susnick come back here. Weston McKinney will be Cassidine. Double uh, we'll get Tony up here. I think that's going to be the change. Like that. Okay. They still want it. Two looking, at least we have a good defensive deflection, another good defensive deflection. Get out, Listina. There we go. Good touch by Kierkegaard. Susnick is so off sides there. So off sides. Tia looking. Good defense. Good defense by Odogu. Tia wants to make another crack at it. He does. 
The over 10 is a weird header away. Odogu should just let it go out of bounds, but we do win it. But Holmes is there. The interception. The tackle on Castledine. And here we go. Plays it through. Good through ball. And here's Tony. Ivan Tony. Good goal, my guy. He's not fast. We're not looking for a speedster out of Ivan Tony. The man is as slow as a turtle. You can see him here. That's turtle speed. Okay, he can't be that slow. Actually, he is that slow. He goes turtle speed. Turtle speed is enough to score, though. Good ball over the top. This is him, isn't it? Who has two who has goals here? Who has goals? Who do I want to take the penalties? Who's out here? Let's have Tony take it. In all honesty, I might want to have Tony. Yeah, let's have him there. That's fine. Tony's gonna put in the back of the net though. I feel it, my bones. Gary Alde is gonna get a yellow card here, and there it is. Come on. Ivan Tony. That was actually a pretty good one there. We just could not win it in the middle. Good counterattack here by Burnley. We do slow it down. We are able to reset. Let's praise. Okay. Once he serviced the ball and got it here, I was a little worried about that. But it looks like we're going to close this down. Hopefully. Why? Okay, at least Henderson stops it. That was unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. So we're at 20 points. Let's see how the other parts of the table play. Tony right at Travers, the keeper. Right at the keeper. We're starting to get into the meat and potatoes of the season. In this one, it is December. Then we're going to work through, I think, also January is a busy window as well. It's having the transfer window. I have some ideas. We are likely going to make some changes. A bit of my new changes, but changes just the same. And that is mostly because I think I have a couple of pieces I want to bring in. A lot of them are actually not that expensive. I want to bring in a better striker than Tony, but I might have to sell Tony, which is fine. 
but I think I found a better striker that's about the same cost. Uh, actual uh, transfer deal wise, and we'll just chuck Tony up to a failure. But I don't know. I would not be opposed to just bringing in another striker who can afford it entirely. I don't know about that either. We'll look at our budget after this. It is likely going to have to involve selling a player or two. Now, if we sold Grasic, would I be opposed to that? No. That would likely give me all the money I need to make the changes that I want on the team. And I'll kind of give you an idea what those are as well, because I think the next time we'll return to it is probably in January, the transfer window. I'll give you a little preview there. That's a good win though against Burnley. That was our game in hand as well. Tony finally gets something. That's our game in hand. Now we just have to sneak out a couple of things. We have Everton pretty close too. Okay. Our under 21's one. It's likely because we have Hummel and did play a little bit. Kane was injured. We get 21, uh, 23K from that. That goes in this budget, but I don't think it's going to be anything big. It's going to be our TV money that gets us all of that. Okay, Tony, you missed one. I missed, I'm actually going to rest him anyway with that. And just so I don't forget, Mardani is back. Mardani, you're going to come over here. And this is going to be Santos. And we'll see exactly how we want to split all this up so here is the idea so the finances we're gonna have two million the idea is this i've found a couple of players i put them all in my default it might be something so let's kind of go through this one up by one bruno marino i saw his good finishing here good acceleration i mean good tandem that can work up although he is five seven i think he could be a good fit up top is 20 years old. Livio Rios, a good wing guy out here. If, uh, if Yoverton leaves or someone else, and he's looking like someone we can probably bring in because he's opting out of his contract. So this would be a free that I'm thinking about. Selec Ocal, he is a perfectionist, another defender. Probably need to get his natural fitness up, but that would take a long while. I don't think that is something we can really do. We'll have to see, but good aggression, good determination, good tackling. Only 10.5. He would be an automatic starter for us, probably. This is the big one, so I want to show you that one last. Brass Baruf. This was a guy we can bring in as well. And I'm thinking since we don't have an under 18s goalkeeper, that's good. He could play on that one. This cop is there on the 21 side. We have a couple of goalkeepers. A lot of them are out on loan and Bruce could actually move up to be our backup. So that can be one thing that we do that Bruce comes up, plays as the backup and we have a new under 21's goalkeeper the last one though and this is the prize gem that we're looking at Julian Caputo 8.5 to 12.5 million that was big we can probably finagle this his acceleration is not big which is something we can do however his finishing is absolutely amazing I mean, this guy is an absolute stud. 
I think this could be someone that literally dominates a lot of the teams around us. I think this guy could be spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. And I think the acceleration we can get up just by, frankly, forcing him to train acceleration, which is something I'd probably do because I don't need to do his finishing and anything else. He is pretty good at crossing at corners, so he'd be the guy. Well, 5'7", he is not going to get any of those. He becomes our facilitator at that point with our corners. So that would be good. And with that corners and crossing, we want to play a wing uh, situation. He's the man that can do it. I would feel absolutely fantastic about this one. So what would that be to bring in those guys? So we're looking at Five, say 5.6, say 7 point, let's go with the lower end, so 7.8, that is 8.8, .8. no, one of these we don't, which one is, what is options, this one, so really it's this, so 5.6, it's about 6.6 .6. we have what eight here brings up to nine is 15 and another what 17 million we'd need in the transfer budget and how much would it be to sell Grasic? It wouldn't be enough. That would be a good bit. It's about 10. Would likely also mean. I mean, at that point, is Kwiatkowski out? Where's Gomez? Gomez is not someone we're going to keep here long term maybe maybe we send gomez the 22 year old peruvian or wow not peruvian uh paraguayan maybe we send him for 18 to 20. i mean he would he would actually solve all of that while he's most uh for skybet championship sides putting him out there that would likely get us everything we need to make those changes. Then we can decide what we want to do with Tony. Probably keep him a year. Maybe not. Uh, I think we brought in Tony for only one year. He was a free, so maybe we do sell Tony. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below if we do do that. Uh, Jebison, I do want to keep him uh, while he is going to have time growing. He is actually doing some good stuff with us. He can actually be a Premier League player. He still has a lot of, uh, a little bit of growth. Not much, but a little bit. And I'd like Kiergaard. He's playing great. Let me put there. Uh, while he can only be as good as a uh, Skybet League Championship player, I mean, he is a... A player that can come in and just come off the bench, which is what we want for a player of his caliber. So we're building, and I think these four guys or five guys would be massive to the build. Two of them are under 18, so two of them would... Well, Salkuk would uh, actually be starter likely i would guess uh Baruf would be down in the use a uh, caputo would be up with us livio rios would have to be up with us as well which would be great and then bruno Pereira would have to be up with us maybe we probably don't need one more striker which means we probably send 
Homo and I don't know. Did we send someone else? I don't know. But that gives us a little backup here. So we're not destroying what is Jebison's health and Fernandez's health at that point because we're I feel like we're putting ourselves in a situation where we're gonna have some issues with fitness. So that kind of gives you an idea of that. I actually want to flip back here because I do want to show you when we're going to be back. And I think we're going to be back around the FA Cup. Maybe. I'm thinking. Uh, we already saw Portsmouth. Uh, this is a little bit. Uh, I think we come back actually with the... We've seen Man City and Liverpool. That, that that hurt my soul. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do the Bournemouth game because that is actually on the transfer window. So we'll do Bournemouth and then we'll skip over to the FA Cup and do the FA Cup game. And then we'll probably uh, have some good stuff from there. And we'll obviously have a super February though with these three games. Before we work into Everton, Burnley, and Brighton in March. So... Yeah, I think that's where I will see you guys with the Bournemouth game. So go and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry, it's really bright here. It is during the day. Uh, typically, I do sometimes do these at night. I think I would think I'm going to make more of an effort to record more at night because uh, this is bright. This, this all right here, it's bright. I would agree. So thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. Later.